The word prodigal is used as both an adjective and a noun for someone who is wasteful of their money or another valuable resource. This sense comes from the biblical story of the prodigal son. A rich farmer once had two sons. The younger one was an entitled brat. When the farmer tried to discipline him, he demanded his share of property. To do so when one's father was alive was great rudeness. It was an effrontery. Still, the father, instead of taking insult with his son's effrontery, fulfilled his wish, and the brat merrily went away with his money. He spent it all in a few years. Only when he had to labor to earn his food did he feel sorry for his deeds. He returned to his father, fell at his feet and begged the old man to forgive him and to accept him as a laborer on the family farm. The father hugged him and announced a feast to celebrate the return of his son. This painting depicts the moment the prodigal son kneels before his father. Notice the rich robes of the father and the tattered rags of the repentant son. The father is wrapping his cloak around the son and so symbolically covering his son with love and warmth. The story of the prodigal son is very famous in the Western culture. The Irish folk song, The Wild Rover, also alludes to it in this stanza. It's a great song. You can listen to it on YouTube. I told you before that a prodigal person is wasteful of their money or another valuable resource. Let's see what all did the prodigal son in the story waste. He wasted not only his money but also many precious years of his life and the bond with his loving father. So the son foolishly took all these for granted and tossed them away. It is such stupid wastefulness that is known as prodigality. Usage examples of the word are Miss Lee has renovated her house thrice in three years to satisfy her prodigal pleasures. Now someone renovating their house once a decade is quite normal but doing it three times in three years is likely to make people question Miss Lee's wisdom with respect to money. Then there is this couplet by Robert Burns. O man, while in thy early years, how prodigal of time, misspending all thy precious hours, thy glorious youthful prime. Well, as a GRE student, you can read this couplet as O student, at start of thy prep, how prodigal of time, misspending all thy precious hours and making tough the climb. Many students are prodigal of their time in the early weeks and months of their prep. They misspend those precious hours and then, as the test date draws near, they scramble to fit a lot of to-dos into the little time left. This is a suboptimal and stressful way to study. If you don't make this mistake and keep moving towards your prep goal slowly and steadily, you will climb the steepest hills.